What's up guys? It's that time again. Uh, another video in my drunk series. So today we're going to unbox and review the Aventone, Avantone, Aventone, Avantone, I don't know, whatever. Aventone, A-V-A-N-T-O-N-E, C-K-7. I bought it earlier today. We bought it earlier today about uh, five or six hours ago, but I couldn't do the review until the unboxing or the review until I drank or else this wouldn't be a drunk review. So this bottle of Jack Daniels was full. It is not. And now it's time to get into the video. All right, here we go. Oh, let's see how I'm going to do this. Spin the... All right, here we go. Let's do it. This is the box. Oh, that's my Spider-Man. <laughs> my Spider-Man, uh, what do you call it? Zoom? Zoom, zoom? I don't know, whatever. Spider-Man thing, I got it from my sister. She got it for me for my birthday or Christmas or something. I forget. Anyway, this is the box that it comes in. Nice standard square box. Some uh, writing there. I didn't care to read it yet. Well, I'm in the light. Let me prop it up for you. There you go. Ooh. Avent Can somebody in the comment, Aventone or Avantone? I don't know how to say it. Pro CK7, large 32 millimeter. That's the, it's a large diaphragm condenser mic, multi-pattern FET mic, whatever the hell that means, I don't know. Includes, uh, focus, focus, focus. The camera's drunk like me, so it's not focusing. I'll just read it to you. Includes, it's the mic, includes the mic, includes the Aventone custom retro shock mount. Oh, that sounds nice. Again, padded, genuine wooden mic box case, which, by the way, is a reason I bought it. This was $279. Um, I was thinking about getting the Audio Technica 2050 because it got a lot of good reviews, but um, whatever. For $30 more, you get a freaking case with it. Let's do it. And uh, and I'll showcase this later. And I did uh, I did do a A-B test. Uh, with this, at, can you see me? I don't know. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, I gotta flip the thing around. Uh, I did. We, we, me and Sean, I did an A B test between this and the um, the Aventone CK7. The um, oh shit, what's it called? Oh, I just said it Audio Technica AT 2050 and the um, Aventone's CV12. And uh, and I'll get more into this later. But uh, the Audio Technica had a, kind of a harsh high end. And it like immediately stuck out to us. So we said, no, we don't want that. We want, we want to do this Aventone CK7. Then I saw the freaking CV12 was like right next to it. And I said, fuck, man. I know I read a bunch of reviews on the CV12. So we tried that one too. Um... But later on in the uh, review portion, I guess we'll go over it. But briefly, the CK7 was a little more forgiving. I'm not a great singer. So right away I was like, oh, I don't know if I want this. Uh, Shauna sounded amazing on it. But again, the CK7 was a little more forgiving. Um, it is, I mean, the CV12 is a tube. Condenser mic, but whatever. We get a tube preamp or tube plugins. I can. If you got a good mic, if you got a good singer, if you have a good mixer, such as I, a good engineer, you can make pretty much anything sound good. Everything we've been doing so far, I've been doing on my SM eighty six and Garage Band. So, with this, I'm one hundred percent positive it'll sound amazing. All right, to the unboxing and the review. Uh, back to what it says. Let's see. What did I say? Wooden mic box. Yep. Like I said, it came with that stuff. Aluminum storage travel case. Uh, I didn't really see it. I glimpsed it. But you know what? Anybody that knows me, for all my pedal cases, I don't have a typical 
pedal case. I don't have a typical typical pedal case. I have briefcases that hold my uh, pedals. And everyone's like, whoa, dude, what the fuck's in there? It looks like a sniper case. I call it the sniper case. So I kind of like that this thing has this like aluminum case looking thing. It's just sexy. Not that we're going to take it out of the house because this is for home use. But anyway, here we go. Uh, owner's manual, which I'll probably have to read when I'm sober, and five-year warranty, which is always good, because it's a warranty. Shit's good. Warranties are good. It means this, this will last for at least five years, and if it doesn't, fucking give it back to us. Send it back to us. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Here's the box. Nice, crisp, and white. I'm gonna go overhead view. Ooh. And again, my zoom. Here we go. Let's... First time ever, we're going to open it up. Oh, that's the receipt. They stuck it in. Bam. 292.15. That's with tax. And, uh, you know, 279 and then 292.15. If you can find it cheaper, get it. Or whatever. I don't know. That's what I paid. Who cares? I a b like I said, I, I tried it out at the store. I A-B'd it. I spent a good hour and a half there uh, with my baby in my left hand. <laughs> and, oh, shoot. Look at this. Look at that case. Holy crap. That does look sexy. Oh, man. This makes me more ex I think this makes me excited. You know, when you see something come in in a big-ass fancy case like this, that shit's exciting. Oh, I'm going to take this. Put it here. Move the box to the side. Keep the receipt though. Five year warranty. Or register. Okay, let's open it. I always have fun doing these unboxing videos, especially when I'm drunk. Okay, here's. Let's just take a look at the case real quick. Uh huh. Uh huh. Looks like a. Looks like a good case, huh? Looks like a good case to me. Okay. Ooh, here we go. First time ever. We're doing it together. Here we... Oh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, first impressions. This thing is has that foam... That foamy, like... Um, you know, the eggshell material. But that's great. That, that looks like it's gonna... Be impact resistant. This is just some kind of rubber. Uh, I'm going to assume this is the uh, shock mount. Let's see if we can take that out. Oh, shoot, man. I don't want to break it. Oh, it feels durable. I don't know. If, what is that? Plastic or whatever. Okay. Okay, some bands here. And then this is some kind of... I don't know if that's metal or hard plastic. I can't tell. I'm, I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Let's just take it out. Come on, come on, baby. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just hold this up against the. Uh, uh, let me hold on. Make this nicer. This is my couch. So we, uh, if you, if you guys haven't been following, we moved. So this is. This right here is gonna be. Kind of the home studio. We're gonna move that couch, but this is. To gonna be this home studio soon. Uh, my little laptop, little uh, speaker there that I've been using semi as a monitor, uh, TV and stuff. Anyway, and then look, little dining room area, kitchen over there, refrigerator, and then over there, there's a hallway. Um, there's two bedrooms and a bathroom and a storage room. So it's nice. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Let's get back to it. Oh, okay, shock mount. It's kind of this matte gray color. I don't know if I like that yet. Whatever. Is this what it's got? It's really heavy though. It feels heavy, like if it's heavy duty. I don't know. Here's a little. That's you attach that to your um, stand. Okay. Does not come with a pop filter, which kind of sucks. I uh, was also looking at the Rode NT1A, NT1-A. That came with a pop filter, but the reviews are mixed, and they didn't have it at the store. I couldn't try it out. And you know what? If you want to sell something, you got to be able to try it out. Uh, okay, so that's some hard. This is, now that I feel it, this is some kind of metal. 
I don't know what it is. I'll look into it. And then uh, some bands. Uh, the bottom. Okay, let's get to the meat and bones of it. Wait, hold on. What is this? Extra rubber bands. I guess just in case these get loose, you know, after a lot of use, it gets loose. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. I, oh, man. Okay, look, I just want to say another thing. What makes, I like, I, I, another selling point for me, besides the way that it sounded, another selling point for me, besides the way it sounded, was when I was looking at um, this and the Audio Technica, the Audio Technica came with, um, Audio Technica came with a shock mount, yes. But it came with a carrying pouch. I was like, what the hell is this? Look, I can drink, I can buy Crown Royal and drink that. I wouldn't buy Crown Royal. I don't like the way that tastes. But I could buy, you know, Crown Royal and get a bag. That's a carrying pouch. That's, that's whatever. This thing came with the, the, uh, this, this case right here. Came with this case. And apparently the microphone itself comes in a, a wooden case. So it's like doubly protection. All right, back to unboxing. Here we go. And another latch. That's nice. Boom. Oh, does that not look sexy? Oh, I wish I had a better camera to do some. Okay, look at this. Chrome. Cabernet red, they call it, but it's not really. It's like a Marilyn Monroe lipstick red, if you ask me. Anyway, Cabernet Red, they say. But look at that. Ooh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and just get... Here it is. Okay, look, I'm going to do an opening shot again. Oh, the angels sing. Oh. Oh, okay, let's hold it. Oh, man, let me pick it up. Oh, it's got weight. A lot of weight to it. Okay, let's hold it here. Let's do a... Let's do one of those dreamy... Up pants, you know, when the sexy girl up rise on on the screen. Ah, oh. okay. So, quick description right here: multiple, multiple polar, uh, multiple mic patterns. This is omnidirectional. Uh, I don't know, bipolar. I guess you call it bidirectional. Bi, it's bi. This is bi. Omni does everybody. Doesn't care what you are. It just does it. Bi, one or the other, and then your standard cardioid. Boom. And then uh, we have, bam, this ah, that chrome looks just so nice. So this is nice. Oh, here's some more switches here. Ah, let me get a good lighting view. Boom. There's your flat signal on the left. And then on the right, there is your, looks like a low cut. I'll check the frequency later. Um, I believe it's 80 hertz, which is nice. Just gets rid of that low rumble. And then uh, 0 dB and then minus 10 dB pad. So there's your unboxing. Damn, this thing is heavy. Um, I don't know, one at least one kilo? Yeah, got to be at least one kilo. If you guys aren't familiar with the metric system, get on the ball. The whole world uses it. <laughs> All right. That is the unboxing. Um, stick. Oh, shoot. This... Oh my god, I don't know what this came from. There's a little metal piece just fell out somewhere. Okay, that's the unboxing. We're going to jump to the testing and the review. All right, stick around. After doing some very, very extensive research, that little uh, metal piece I found actually goes right. You see this here? So... I guess, well, it's not coming out anymore, but it, it came from here. So that's, I was like, what the fuck's this piece? It's right here. See right here? It popped out when I opened the case, but it goes, that's, that piece that was there. There's this little hole right here. There's my Zoom Zoom Spider-Man. Um, but that goes right here. Maybe I should... Oh, shit. You scared me. Fuck. Everybody see. Hi, babe. 
I'm doing my drill. You can't <laughs> freaking creep up on me like that, man. Holy shit. I thought I was going to get fucking murdered, man. Anyway, after extensive uh, review of the case and looking for the metal, that's where that goes. So don't be scared. I did not break it. Okay, back for the review. Here we go. All right, guys. So what we have here is uh, set up on the stand. I'm about an inch, an inch away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the audio uh, unaffected. I'm going to give it to you. I'm talking straight to it, and I'm going to give it to you straight, just like this. And I actually might do a uh, A B with the microphone um, on the camera, just to give you a little. Comparison. Again, my voice here talking straight into the Aventone, Avantone, whatever, CK7. I'm about an inch and a half away. I'm in the cardioid position, flat response on the microphone, and at zero dB, there's a negative 10 dB pad. Boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. I'm just giving you a bunch of syllables and sounds. Uh, hopefully, you get a good idea of how this mic sounds. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Round two coming up. <clears throat> As you can see, I've uh, lowered the mic stand a little bit and uh, tilted the mic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some guitar, see how it picks that up. Going to go about... Six inches away. And then I'm going to go back and forth so you can uh, hear how it sounds as I go forward, closer and further away. And I'm going to go between the 12th fret and sound hole. Alright, time to set up for round three. Alright, we're back. We have uh, Jessica joining us. I mean, Shauna Lynn. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Come here. Alright, we're setting up for the next we're setting up for the next round. We have the beautiful Shauna Lynn here with us. We have the mic set up for uh Bi bipolar, figure eight, so front and back. Uh, let's try it out. Normally, it's meant to be a duet, so kind of like this. Come here and say something, babe. Hey, hey, hey. So it's supposed to, it's meant to be like this, but uh, we're going to we're gonna do one of these. All right, here we go. Tell me no lies 
the ground. Round four. Coming up next. <laughs> All right, this is the final round. This is a. Uh, this is. Ooh, hold up. This is omnidirectional all around. So it shouldn't matter how I talk. I can. I'm supposed to be able to do this, and it's supposed to all sound the same. <laughs> so. around more videos to come we're gonna definitely use this a lot um see you guys next time bye bye